morning happy monday welcome back to the start of another vlog we are going to kick this monday off opening up the advent calendars yesterday's david's tea advent calendar was a caffeine free one we didn't end up drinking it actually we just had hot chocolate so i want to see if today's has caffeine so that i can make some to enjoy this morning while i do some things but here is the two it's that same yellow color as yesterday's apple cider with warm apple cinnamon another caffeine free blah, blah, blah. i mean i'm really excited to try this but i was really hoping for something with a little bit of caffeine this morning <laughs> move over to harry potter where's the two all right let's see here this one's a little bit harder to open this is definitely not today's but it totally fell out this also probably isn't supposed to be stood up like this it's probably supposed to be laying down i finally got it out and it is this little ravenclaw notebook so it's just got lined pages and it's just a little notebook this is sort of the stuff i was expecting like i guess this is useful it's not quite as useful as the deck of cards i got yesterday but i'm excited about this i don't know i don't think i ever said like what house i was in so i think this is like just everybody's gonna get ravenclaw and they probably just made it a notebook because that's a very ravenclaw thing to have so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna use this for but it's cute it feels nice let's see if, what, if i can feel what the paper quality feels like man the paper quality is pretty pretty thin but i mean it's cute all right i'm about to head to work i was gonna do this while i was walking to the subway but it's raining slash snowing so i figured i would do it inside while it's still nice and warm and not raining. I wanted to capture my hair while it still looks straight because I know that within the hour it's gonna go behind my ear and then it gets a, a bend in it. Does anyone else have that problem? Like it looks so nice and then I put it behind my ear and there it goes. I really like my outfit today. I don't have a full length mirror right now so I can't really show you. The dress is rented from Rent the Runway and it just turned out so cute. I cannot think of the name of the brand right now. It starts with an S but I've ordered a lot of stuff from them and always been very happy with how it turned out. And it's navy. It's super cute and then I paired it with this sort of cranberry sweater that I got at White House Black Market on sale when I went shopping with my mom last Christmas. And then this necklace, pretty sure it's Ann Taylor. I can't I don't really remember exactly where I got this necklace but I just I don't know I like these two colors together and I like the way it looks with my hair I think it looks nice we have our work Christmas party tonight so I wanted to feel a little bit extra cute there's one thing I might do a little bit differently heading into work today so the off my office is on 28th Street and the subway that I take from my apartment down to my office actually stops in the basement of my building so if I don't want to go outside I don't have to which on a day like today is actually super nice but the Monday after Thanksgiving going back to work sucks however the Christmas tree will be up in the lobby of the building and I love the lobby Christmas tree so I might actually like exit the subway outside and walk in the front doors that way I can enjoy the Christmas tree it's just so beautiful that's one of those things that like coming back to work after Thanksgiving it's just like it's okay because there's a gorgeous Christmas tree in the lobby today is crazy and as evident by the fact that I'm sitting here chatting with you totally sober we did not have a holiday party today so i talked before i left for work this morning that the it was like raining slash snowing and it was coming down and that's why i wasn't vlogging while i was walking well when i got outside like it was pretty bad it was mostly rain though when i was walking to work i didn't exit the subway outside i didn't see the tree well i did when i was leaving but i didn't see it in the morning i didn't document it i wanted to keep my camera safe and dry i ran some errands during lunch and at that point it had kind of shifted to snow i dropped off my rent the runway bag at ups went to Dwayne reed to pick up pictures and it was snowing but like it wasn't like i mean i ran errands i wasn't it wasn't blizzarding enough to keep me from doing that at least in my opinion and it kept coming down and then I was sitting at my window. I was kind of admiring it. It was kind of a cool experience. If you've been around for a while, you know that I moved to a desk with a window in August, September. September 1st was my first day at my new job, but I moved to the desk in August. And this was the first snow I got to watch from my desk. It was pretty cool, but it was coming down. Like it was coming down pretty hard. About three something, we got an email saying that our holiday party is postponed. It's not technically canceled, but they're not gonna schedule it again till January, so. I don't know if it really counts anymore, but whatever. It was postponed. But then when I left the office, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't coming down that hard anymore. And none of it stuck. Because the ground hasn't been cold enough, none of the snow stuck. So you can't even tell that it snowed, truthfully. But anyways, 
There's a holiday party tonight, which means I got my evening back, which is kind of nice. I mean, the holiday party was fun. I was definitely looking forward to it, but I'm also excited to do some things tonight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is share some happy mail with you. I have lots of stuff to share with you. I swear, even cutting off the weekends, these vlogs are gonna be forever in a day. So let me share with you the couple things I got in the mail. The first one is sort of making me cry. So we're gonna get that one out of the way. I had a vlog a couple of weeks ago, a couple, a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago at this point where we went to a wedding in Dallas. The bride was one of Sam's good friends from growing up. They went to prom together years ago and it was beautiful. The wedding was beautiful and it was a combination ceremony. She is Jewish and he is Christian and they had a rabbi officiate the ceremony and they had a lot, it was a lot of Jewish traditions, but they incorporated some Christian things as well. And the next day at the brunch, I was sort of talking to her about it because we, I mean, we had just gotten engaged and we were chatting and she said that her rabbi had given them this book that really helped them craft a ceremony that was special to both of them. And she sent it to us. Oh my gosh. I, she had mentioned when we were chatting, she was like, oh, I'll send you the book. And I was like, oh, okay, great. But like, truthfully, I'd forgotten all about it. They went on their honeymoon. Like this was over a month ago at this point, but she sent us the book and she wrote a sweet note on the inside, you know, saying that she hopes that the book helps us at the start of our marriage, the way that it's helped them. And it's just so, 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 so thoughtful. And I can't wait. I can't wait to go through this book with Sam. Supposedly it just lists a bunch of the traditions and pieces of the ceremony for both, which ones overlap, which ones are unique to each faith and what is the meaning behind them. And then you pick the ones that you want to include. So. Really excited about this. We're well, gonna keep moving or we're gonna be here forever. So the next thing I got was one of the new Aaron Contra, new, a new Aaron Contra umbrella. It's a very old umbrella. Uh, mine broke, so I couldn't get it closed. I don't know if it was the wind. I don't know what happened to it. And I mentioned it to my friend, Julie, and she was like, I have an extra one. Let me send it to you. Thank you so much, Julie. I feel like I'm finally back in the cool kids club with an Erin Condren mid-century circles umbrella. I'm so thankful because I freaking love this umbrella and when I couldn't get it to close, I still left it hanging on the coat rack until today because I was I refused to give up on it and then that this came and I was like, oh, I guess I'll throw it away now. Okay, the next thing I got, also so sweet and so thoughtful and these are from my friend Brooke and they're made by my friend Mary over at Blue Scooter Press and they are stickers of me and Sam. How cute are those? I've seen her do this stuff before. She did it for Nine on Bulgy when they got engaged. And so when I saw these in the mail, I had a sweet note from my friend Brooke who had reached out to Mary asking her to create these for us. They just turned out so, so cute. This makes a really great gift. If you have a planner girl that you need a gift for, get custom stickers. It doesn't have to be like an engagement. It does not have to be with a significant other. Like I would have been happy with pictures of me and Charlie. Don't tell Sam. All right, the next thing is my order from Erin Condren that I'm really excited about, but I ordered like a week before Black Friday and it probably, if I waited till the Black Friday sale started, like I wasn't even in town, I probably would have gotten it in the same time frame. So whatever. I have a couple things I'm gonna show you here and then I'm gonna turn it face down and I'll show you a couple things face down. So the first thing is the Mid-Century Circles bag strap. I talked about this in a vlog. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it. I'm really excited about the new size of the bag. I haven't used it at all yet, truthfully, because I went out of town like right after I got it. But I, I, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Wow, this is even like prettier in person than it was online. Look at this, oh my God, it's so pretty. Now I will say like, this side is more rainbow and this is the inside. This side, that's the outside doesn't really have any of the yellow or the orange. It's all just blue, teal, purple, pink. So um, I don't know how I feel about that. So I guess if I make it longer, I will get some of the, the orange from the other side. But at this length, you're not seeing any of that orange. So that was kind of a funky design. But I'm excited. I, I don't know how it's gonna look with the black, but I just couldn't resist. Okay, the other thing I got, which I said I was thinking about getting, but I don't know if I could justify the price. And if I had waited till Black Friday, I definitely would have justified the price. I did use a 20% code from one of the planners on this order, so it wasn't totally full price, is the suede pouch. I just, it was so beautiful and I just wanted to get it. I didn't own anything in this suede. I was tempted to get the bag, but since I hadn't used the black one yet and I didn't know if I liked the size, at least this was a different product that I hadn't tried yet. So I justified ordering this one. 
I am gonna wait to use it until I can scotch guard it. I, I was talking again to Julie and she was like, no, definitely scotch guard it because she used the bag in this and it ended up rubbing off some clothes, colors from her clothes. So I'm definitely gonna order some scotch guard. I don't own any, shocker. And I was like, where should I go? And she was like, for you, Amazon. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go to Amazon. But I do wanna try this out. Same thing I said when I reviewed it without actually owning it was I wish that it had a strap of some sort. Like, I don't necessarily like to carry bags without straps. I just, I don't know. I don't trust myself, really. All right, the biggest thing is does my phone fit in this pocket, even in its case, and it totally does. I have the iPhone 10, I think, from last year or two years ago, um, and the smaller size, I have a pretty big case on it because I have a wallet case, and it totally fits in the pouch, and then it's got some other things, like other slots over here for more cards, and definitely space for like my camera, my keys, lip gloss, whatever, to be able to zip it up, but again, no no straps, so I'd have to carry it under my arm or something, but it also might make a good pouch like in my backpack to keep things organized, so. But I'm gonna put it back in its little bag until I can spray some Scotch Guard. I have one more thing to show you before I switch top down and show you the rest of my Erin Condren order and then it's another sticker shop order that I got and that is the bookmarks from Moxie Life. So I talked about these in my Moxie Life review of the whole planner and if you ordered during Black Friday, which is over by the time this video goes up, you would have gotten these bookmarks included. Now that Black Friday is over, these bookmarks are available on their own on the website. So if you are not interested in the planner because you already have a goal setting system, planner system, like you're not interested in that product, but you do use the power sheets, I would recommend checking out these bookmarks because they fit on the power sheets. Now, they don't really stick above the cover because the cover is just too big. Let me show you. Well, they, sorry, they stick, but the words, the words don't show above the cover, which is not a big deal. You can see it once you, they stick above the pages. Once you open up the book, you just can't see it on the cover, but it comes in a set of three. So it's got one that says my vision that you could keep on either the overall goals page or your vision board or something in the prep work. And then it has monthly goals. So you could put that on the monthly layout. And then there's one that says this week. Now, obviously this doesn't have a weekly planner, so that one might not be as useful, but you could put that on the tending list because the tending list and the monthly page have a page in between. So I just think that these are a really cool goal setting set of bookmarks and they fit on the power sheets. So if you are interested, they are available on their own now. They are sort of a gray ombre, which doesn't totally go with like the colorfulness of the power sheets. I think if you own one of the linen covers, it probably looks a little bit better than the confetti, but I'm still gonna use them. All right, now we are in top-down mode. I have a couple Erin Condren things to show you. So the first one is the Petite Planner Monthly Planner. I talked about this in my December goals, how I wanna use this as sort of my 2020 overview. And this is the neutral one that goes with the Focus Collection. So it's got a pretty plain outside. And then it's got a layout for each month. It does have holidays. It's pretty, again, pretty neutral. It's got one page for each month kind of a flip through the color scheme there. I mentioned this in another review of this line. I don't love the yellow, but that's just me. And then in the back, just a bunch of lined pages. And I kind of, oh, there's actually, it's half lined, half dot grid, it looks like. And then there's some stickers in the back. So I got this just to sort of make a 2020 overview. And I think this is gonna turn into my sort of on the go planning out next year. All right, then I also grabbed the new gratitude journal. I put it in there backwards. I already opened it. They didn't do that. But this is the gratitude journal that they did in conjunction with Sprinkles Cupcake. So it's got this cute quote on the front in rose gold. And I just wanted to see how different it was from the other gratitude journals. I'm not good about using those, so I don't know what makes me think I'm gonna be good about using this one, minus the fact that the cover is super cute. But I just wanted to see, oh my gosh, it's so cute, how different it was. So. It looks like the general layout is the same. And so it's got different prompts and then a blank prompt. And so it's got kind of the same, more of the same, more of the same, and then the same 30 day reflection and the same looking forward page. And it looks like the categories are the same for each month. Yeah, ways I love myself. So it looks like it's just a repeat, so you don't have new prompts. I'm not 100% sure if the other ones were like that as well. And just like the other ones, it looks like it's about a six month planner. And then here are the stickers in the back. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at those little cupcakes and the quotes. 
I love these. Oh my God, Sprinkle Joy, so cute. I love this, and this is a cute collab that they did with Sprinkles, but the, just in case you're curious, the setup of the gratitude journal is the same as the other ones, just with different prompts. All right, and then last, but certainly not least, I already opened this as well. This is the new Erin Condren sticker book. I do love the monthly sticker books. I tend to use these in my monthly planning. The biggest difference with the sticker book and the old sticker books is this one is smaller. So the old sticker books were a little bit bigger. So I don't have an old sticker book intact because I take them all apart for storage. But here is a page from one of the older sticker books. And here is how much wider it is than the new one. So this one is going to fit perfectly into a, a normal plastic page protector for stickers. This, these ones never did, and that was always kind of frustrating. This also fits in their storage boxes that they have for stickers on their website, which these never did. I mean, you're losing some space on the stickers, and I'm pretty sure this is the same price as all the other ones, but it will be easier to store. Same as the other ones that they release at this time each year, we have one page for every month, and just like last year's, we've got colored foils that vary throughout the entire month. Oh my gosh, that blue foil is so pretty. The biggest thing that is missing, or not missing, but is different from prior versions that I'm kind of bummed about is the washi strips that go all the way down the side. So they do have washi strips here along the bottom, but those are pretty short. Like you're not going to use those across the bottom of the planner. Like here's the page from an old sticker book that had lots of washi strips. Now this wasn't a monthly one. Okay, let me show you a monthly one. Like here's a page from an old sticker book. See how it's got these washi strips? Like these you could use on the bottom of the planner and these you can't really, they're too, too small. Um, we've got a lot more functional stickers though, it feels like than, well, maybe not. So here's, let's compare. It's, it's mm, pretty comparable. I mean, I feel like we've got more with these flags than we, than we had over here. But I do feel like we've got more decorative actually now that I look at it. We still have the labels at the top, which I know a lot of people like to use. This sticker feels a little bit big to me. I don't really know where that would go, but I do like the decorative stickers to use in my monthly layout. Here is February. So the setup is gonna be the same for every month, just a different color scheme and a different color foil. Again, we have a really big holiday sticker there. Yeah, I guess that's the theme. I don't know where you're going to put that giant sticker, truthfully. March has this green foil. We've got purple in April. May is peach. Oh, look at that hollow for June. Oh, that's so pretty. And then we've got this blue. I love this sticker. It's just huge. Like, I just don't know where I'm going to put it. Although the stickers in that monthly, not monthly, the stickers in the quarterly subscription, sticker subscription from Erin Condren were huge and I loved those. So this is August, which has more of a yellow gold, kind of back to school themed. September pumpkins, October, we've got orange for Halloween. November, we've got a teal foil and then December has gold and it's more holiday themed. So cute cute sticker book. Like I said, I like to use these on my monthly layouts. I also saw somebody, PhD planner on Instagram, use these in her power sheets. So she would decorate each month of her power sheets with this whole sheet. And she did it all at the beginning of the year. And she said it made her excited to set up her power sheets for the next month. So that's an idea too. Okay, my last piece of mail to share with you is from Knockout Print Shop, which is a sticker company that I had actually never heard of until she posted about having stickers that went with the Moxie Life goal setting planner, that the size and the colors and everything was gonna coordinate, and I was like, well, I have to try those. And then she was generous enough to send me a gift card to the shop so that I could order what I wanted and try things out. So thank you so much, Jess, over at Knockout Print Shop for letting me try these stickers out. I'm excited to to, to share them, uh, to talk about the color options, and to really actually to start using them eventually. So first off, I did not get all the stickers that she has that coordinates with the Moxie Life. I didn't even get one of each when I ordered, and she's released more since then. So there are lots more. If you are planning to use this planner next year, I highly recommend going and checking out her shop. I do have a discount code for you that I will link in the description box if you are interested in trying out her shop. The other thing is all the sheets that I got, she also has them in individual solid colors. So if there is one particular area of life that you think you're gonna be spending more time in, then you can get single pages that have just that color on it. For this, order, I decided to get all the mixed colors. That way I could have some of all the colors and I was mostly just trying to try out the sizes. For the combination, like for the rainbow pages, she does have two different colors. Let me go to one of the, the goals. So she has the normal mix, which is what I got, and then she has a light. 
So I got the darker one because you guys know I like more bold, bright colors. And you can see that it's actually, it's like the darkest possible color on here. Like it matches the darkest possible color. And then the lighter one matches this like outside color. So if you're more of a neutral pastel, not neutral really, it's still very colorful, but more of a like muted pastel, that's what I meant to say, then the light mixed might be a better option for you. I didn't get any light mixed, I got all bold mixed because I like bold colors. But what I really wanna do is try out the sizes and to actually see them in a planner. So I got these little check mark stickers. Okay, so those fit perfectly in the lines. Let's zoom in a little bit. By the way, if you haven't watched my review on this planner, so you have no idea what I'm talking about and what the different colors stand for, go check out that video. They stand for your different areas of life. All right, I'm trying to decide. Actually, let me go back and look what they are. I wanna play with the colors that I think I will use the least. Which ones work? I don't like to put work in my personal planner. Oh, it's red. I think this one's the wrong color. <laughs> I just realized that, okay. Physical environment, financial, spiritual. I think I'll use, I'll test out the teal ones because I I mean, I, I will possibly have some stuff in that category, but I think it'll be one of the lower categories for me. So if I put it all the way to the edge, it doesn't go all the way across, which for some people is preferable to have a little bit of white space on either side. If you watch the vlog where I tested out the Chrissy and Design stickers, hers go all the way to the edge. These fit perfectly in two lines, the size. Um, I don't, I don't know the names of them yet. And then we have this size. It looks like it's perfectly for one line. Oh, this one might go all the way to the edge. Okay, this one does look like it goes all the way to the edge. Some of these are also, I think, sized. Oh, this is sized for the monthly. That's why. Okay, we'll try it on on the monthly too. All right, then we've got the half boxes, which I might do a red one here because it looks like there's extra red ones. So I'm calling these half boxes, but I think they're a little bit smaller than normal half boxes because, again, if you watch the Chrissy Ann Designs one, the half boxes from her shop are a little bit taller than four lines, and this one is exactly four, four lines tall. And then I'm assuming this is the same as that. Yeah, I'm not going to use one of those. Oh, these are the ones for the week view. So it's going to be the one row, but not as long. So if you do like them to go all the way to the edge, then buy the monthly view ones. Same thing here. So this is going to be for the monthly view and it's probably going to go all the way to the edge. Oh, actually not quite. And it takes up one, two, three, four, five, six and a half lines. So I wouldn't quite call that a full box. It's going to be a little bit shorter than a full box, but it takes up a good chunk of space. All right. Then she also has these sampler pages. I decided to just grab one of these just to play with it. This is what I should have used to test them all out, huh? So these top four rows look like they're all pretty much the same. I'm not a big flag person, so I probably won't really use these. This looks like it's also, you know, one line and it doesn't go all the way across. And then we've got these, which again, also one line and doesn't go all the way across. Yep. All right, let's try out the monthly ones. And then we'll go back and see if we can take those stickers off and see how removable they are. So let's try this. So the monthly ones go all the way to the edge on the monthly view. And these are pretty thin, like you could fit probably six of them under the number, seven if you wanted to cover up the number, like they're pretty skinny. And then you've got these ones that are like the whole box that I think are gonna take up, yep. Literally, they're meant to fit the entire box. I don't know if I like that. Like, I don't know how often I would use those, but I can see the value. If it was like my birthday or something, I feel like I would mark the whole box. They're also on the page the opposite way of in the planner. That was confusing for a second. Okay, I really like these. I love the co that the colors match. I think that's really, really awesome. Um, if you are a color coordinator kind of person, I could see these being really, really helpful. Let's go back. Where's our test page here? All right, let's see what these are like to get off. Well, that was pretty easy. It came off pretty easy. I don't know that she advertises them as removable, but if you are somebody who wants to be able to move stickers within your planning session, you're gonna be fine. Like this came up 
very easily. This was one of the first stickers that I put down. It didn't ruin the sticker either. I have found that with matte stickers. Sometimes taking them off ruins the sticker. I don't know if it's gonna last forever. Anyways, I'm really excited about these. I'm excited to I'm excited to jump into this planner in general, but I just wanted to share those with you. And don't forget the coupon code if you are interested in trying them out. All right, that was a lot of mail. It's about 6.30 now, which oh, I'm so excited, I have so much time. So I'm going to clean up all of this first, and then I'm gonna change clothes and put on some comfy clothes. I'm gonna make some of the David's tea from yesterday that I didn't try, and then I'm gonna sit down and work on my December daily. I got some pictures printed out, both for my like title intro page and then for day one, so that I can work on that today. So I'm excited to finally jump in and just get started. All right, I am all ready to go. The apartment is tidy. I have a cup of tea and I'm ready to dig into my December daily. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna quickly catch up on my planner. I'll show you what my daily petite is looking like today. So you can see I got a lot of things done. I actually did the Chrissy and Designs order. I just haven't checked it off yet. I forgot to go to Walgreens. I did go to Walgreens during lunch and grabbed a couple pictures, but I ordered more for today, I'm just not gonna get to today's story, which is fine. I think doing two in one night is probably enough. And then here's what I have for tonight. I crossed out the holiday party. I did that pretty much. Um, and now I'm gonna work on this. I had to fix something in my plan with me. I was trying to prep it during lunch and I'd, I something got messed up. So that is re-uploading now. So I think what I'm gonna do first before I jump into the cover page and yesterday's story is go through the product again and get like re-familiarized with everything that I have because my unboxing and organization video was over a month ago, well, probably six weeks ago. So I want to re-familiarize myself with the product. I also quickly looked over kind of what I have planned in December. And if there's anything that jumps out at me that I'm kind of leaning towards, like I feel like that quote would probably go with that day because I have this plan or I really wanna save this for this, that, and the other, I might set that aside. I know that's probably like, it's like the opposite of creative. That's <laughs> very like structured, but I feel like there's some of the products that I really, really love and I wanna save for specific days when I know things are happening. Also, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna put on my viewing screen while I work on this. Part of me wants to keep watching Gilmore Girls on Netflix, which is what I have been doing. Part of me wants to put on like a Christmas movie because Christmas. And then what I think I'm going to do is option three, which is watch the Allie Edwards December daily storytelling class. So I bought the class way back when I bought the products. I started watching it when I was home over Thanksgiving and I didn't, I didn't get through it. So I think I'm going to have that up while I work on it. I wanted to get through that class before I even started it, but that there just wasn't time. And truthfully, if I wait any longer to start it, like I, I just need to start. I was talking to my friend Jen this morning and she was like, you just need to start if you don't get going like it's even harder to play catch up so just start working on it she said even if you don't have time to get the pictures printed because I was saying that part of my delay was that I am getting pictures printed at Walgreens let me show you guys that so I meant to or I, I contemplated buying a printer but I didn't for a couple reasons one was I really buying a printer just for this project that seems kind of silly also, I don't have a ton of space, so I'm not really sure where I put the printer. Um, and three, and they're pricey. Like it, wasn't, it wasn't gonna be cheap. So I decided I would just use Walgreens for this year just to commit to myself. Like get through one project before you start buying printers. So what I did was 
I made a collage. Let me show you. So I knew I wanted a six by eight picture of the tree as my cover page, but obviously Walgreens doesn't have a six by eight option. So what I did is I used the same collage app that I always use, which is called pick stitch. And I created a collage that cut it off at 60%. So it basically you drag, uh, I think this is part of the paid version also. So if you just download pick stitch, you can use their pre-made collages and there might be one that works for this. But I, I paid for the paid version a long time ago where I get to create my own collages and get to, you know, put the boxes wherever I want. So what I did was I created one that was like six by eight within the box. And then up here I have two three by fours. I also got these two pictures printed in four by sixes just in case. Four by six prints are like 30 cents or something. So I got this one. I wasn't sure if the quality was going to turn out in a four by six. So that's why I got it in the three by four as well. I think I prefer the four by six. I got a picture of our drinks in the three by four. And then I did the tree in four by six as well, just in case this didn't turn out. But I love how this one turned out. So um, these are the two projects I'm going to work on tonight. Walgreens turns things over in an hour. I literally ordered them this morning and I picked them up during lunch. And then I also sent my today's pictures um, during lunch. I took pictures of the snow outside the window, but then I forgot to pick them up on my way home. I was just like, get home. So I'll just pick those up tomorrow um, and then also figure out what tomorrow's is going to be. I need to buy a paper cutter because I trying to cut the pictures with a ruler and this little exacto knife was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Also, thank you for everybody who told me when I was unboxing the products that you are meant to peel this off like af like when you're ready to use it that all of her products come with a protective plastic piece on it. I thought I had ruined this piece and I'm going to start my book with this, so I'm really glad that it's not ruined. <laughs> Okay, first off, I completely forgot about my tea, so it's probably like, mm, it's like lukewarm. It's delicious though. Oh my gosh. The other thing is I cannot for the life of me find the number one. So what I'm going to do is take the 31 and cut it because I'm not planning to do 31 days. I'm planning only to do 25. The kit comes with 31 just in case, but I am only planning to do 25. So I am just gonna cut this little guy. I finished the, this one. I haven't written on it yet though, but I finished the, the decor and figure out what I wanted and then I picked a page for the back and I'm gonna write something there, but I haven't gotten there yet. I'm moving on to the, to the second one. This is what I have so far and then I think I'm gonna stick the one. I don't know, it's hard because this is hard to see, this clear number one. I may have to stick it on something else. Okay. I finished this one too. I didn't do a whole lot here. I added this little quote here that I really liked. I added the number from a different sticker page. And when I opened up my box, you might probably remember me saying that I was going to try and consistently use the same number throughout the entire project. And these are the ones that came with the kit. So that's what I was going to use. Well, then I found that I don't really like these plastic numbers and trying to figure out where they go. And like, I just, I don't really like them. So I have some other sheets. I don't have anything else that is going to be consistent. Like there is no option now to be consistent, but it was funny as I was 
contemplating the number situation. In the class, Allie said something about how you have total freedom to change your mind. Maybe going into the project, you're gonna do all 31 days and then you only do 25. Or maybe going into the project, you aren't gonna include any like day-to-day -day life stuff. It's only holiday stories and then you change your mind. She said you can absolutely change your mind and so in that moment, I changed my mind. So I'm gonna use whatever number looks best on that day. Maybe I will still end up using some of these plastic ones because if I put it on something like this, I kinda liked the way that it looked but there was just nowhere for this number to go or this big giant circle to go on this page. So that's why I decided to switch it. So I'm not saying I'm not gonna use them totally, but I am not going to only use them. So now I just need to do the writing. So I need to fill in the story on here and I need to fill in the story on here. I'm tempted to fill in, oh, I put it in upside down. So the pictures I sent, I got two three by fours of the snow from two different windows in my office for today's story. And then I figured I might use this one I might go through the other ones again just to make sure that's what I want. But I'm not going to work on that tonight. I'm going to finish writing these and then call it a day. I need to clean up because I made a ginormous mess. All right, so this one I was able to just write. I ended up pulling some things partially to take up space, partially just to add a little bit to the page. But this one I kind of just like brain dumped and it kind of just came to me. I loved how this turned out. This one, I add, I started a little bit too crowded at the top thinking I was going to need more space and I ended up not needing it. So I added this little sticker to kind of fill in that space. And at first I was like, well, maybe I'll just find something to write there. But I'm also trying to embrace the space. It, it happened with this page too. I thought I wanted to fill in this space with more stars, but then I was like, you know what? No, it looks good. Just leave it as it is. So I'm really happy. I'm happy with how my first, my like intro page reason why, and then my first story turned out. The other thing I was going to share with you is that it took me about 90 minutes from the time that I like started working on the project tonight until right now. So that doesn't include cleanup time. And, but that does include the time that I spent kind of going through the products. I separated some of the papers between like patterned papers and spaces to write. But I was also picking stuff out for this project too. So that's probably something I will do every time. Maybe not quite to the extent I did it tonight. But I will flip through all the papers probably to pick stuff out. So I just wanted to let you know that it took me about 90 minutes to do the two days. I feel like that's pretty good for my first time. Honestly, I was anticipating it taking me way longer. Now, truthfully, I didn't do any like super crazy crafty things. Like if you go follow Allie or some of the people on her, uh, she doesn't call it a PR team, her creative team, they do some crazy awesome stuff. Maybe someday I'll get there. Maybe if I had spent time, so she also spends time before December doing what she calls foundation pages. And so she'll do these like crazy crafty creative projects without a story or a picture and then go back and add the picture later. And she does that like in October and November. I didn't do any of that, mostly just because November was crazy, but also I wasn't sure what I was gonna want this year. I kind of wanted my first year to just go into it. So I'm pretty happy that it only took me 90 minutes. So now I'm gonna clean this up and then you guessed it, I'm gonna edit. All right, the cleaning service just left. The apartment looks amazing. It is something that I splurge on every month. Once a month, I have a cleaning service come in and, and do the apartment from top to bottom. And I do have a goal next year of trying to establish more of a cleaning routine and doing more things myself. Some of that includes like some deep cleaning places. And 
truthfully, like I'm sure I could figure out a routine to clean the apartment myself and potentially cancel the cleaning service, but they just do such a good job in such a short amount of time. And like time is money. And so it's not free, but then I get that time back to work on something else. And truthfully, I probably get more than that time back because I'm pretty sure it would take me more than two hours to do the job that they do, like to do as good of a job as they do. So anyways, I don't know. We'll figure that out next year, what I wanna do about the cleaning situation in our apartment. My Home Chef box came. I'm so excited. I was a little nervous it wasn't gonna show up. Uh, if you've been around, I've had issues with packages getting delivered to my apartment for years, literally years. I remember being on the phone with Erin Condren one time because they like the box didn't show up and they weren't, they wouldn't replace it unless I filed a police report or whatever with FedEx. And I was like, what? Like, I just feel like good customer service is for you to replace it. And like, that's what Home Chef did when my box didn't show up. Well, they gave me credit. They didn't refund my card, but they gave me credit to the shop. So anyways, so I ordered another box and I was gonna give it another go and it showed up. So I, I still don't know if it's a FedEx issue or if it's somebody in my building taking packages and I just happen to beat them home. I still, I still don't know what the problem is, but I'm happy that my box is here. But before I cook dinner, I want to open up my Harry Potter advent calendar because I did not do that this morning. I did open my T1 because I was like, please, please, please have some caffeine in there. I also think I'm gonna start putting the teas back in their boxes. So last year what I did was I kept all like the half used ones or even the, the ones I didn't use at all. Like yesterday's I still haven't opened. It's still totally packaged. I kept them all in a little bowl on my counter and I'm just trying to, there's already enough stuff on my counter. So I'm gonna put them all back in and I can always go back through them if I need to. I mean, at this point, I know which ones are which because it's only been three days. Obviously, as time goes on, that's gonna get a little bit harder, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in their little homes. And let's do the Harry Potter one. What is behind door number three? I think this one's a sticker. Uh, maybe? Yeah, it's a Hufflepuff sticker. I mean, it's too bad that I'm not a Hufflepuff. I really wish that the Ravenclaw one had been a sticker instead of the notepad. But I think what I'm going to do is save this for my December daily when I talk about the advent calendars, which I definitely will do one of the days. I should have taken pretty pictures of the outside. I kind of already ruined this one, didn't I? I'm going to have to try. The other ones still look okay on the outside. But anyways, I'm going to save my sticker for that. All right, dinner was delicious. I wanted to give a couple thoughts on like Home Chef versus HelloFresh. I, I mean, for the most part, they're pretty much the same. The price point's pretty much the same. HelloFresh does deliver any day of the week, and so I've tried to get them delivered on Sundays because then I like am more likely to be home shortly after it's delivered, and um, versus Home Chef only does Tuesday through Friday delivery options. The other thing I noticed, so the, the Home Chef meal I did tonight though was one of their like quick meals. So one of the comments I was gonna have was that the vegetables were already like chopped up and that was awesome. Like I didn't have to cut the butternut squash, which is probably good because that's hard to cut. Versus HelloFresh, I always have to cut the vegetables. But I did realize in one of my other Home Chef bags there were full carrots. So I think that's just because I chose the like quick 15 minute meal and that's why the vegetables were already cut. I don't know that that's necessarily a consistent thing. I, the other big thing, I guess it's not, it's not that big of a thing. Well, there's, okay, there's two more things. One, they included the butter. I know that's a random, but HelloFresh never includes butter if you need butter in the recipe and you like almost always need butter in the recipe and Home Chef provided the butter. The other thing is Home Chef is very specific about 
the amount of olive oil that you should put in the pan before you start cooking things. Whereas HelloFresh says like a little bit or a, like a little bit more. Like they're pretty vague about the amount of olive oil. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even measure the olive oil even though it said like to do a tablespoon. I just poured it in there. Maybe if I get back to being better about tracking my food, I will measure out the olive oil. But for now I was just, I really was just trying to cook dinner quickly, but it was delicious. Then I sat down and finished editing a video. And so that is exporting now. And now I'm gonna work on my December daily. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of started playing with products while I was editing. Not playing with, well, I mean, I did start, start, start playing with them. But like I knew the two stories I was gonna work on so I started just like thumbing through things. Like um, I was kind of multitasking. I know people say that like you shouldn't multitask because really you're not gonna do either activity at its best, but sometimes you just gotta do it. All right, so again, I took my app and I collaged pictures in so that I could print an eight by 10 at the drugstore. Now I have to say, the four by six prints are only 30 cents. The eight by 10 ones are three bucks. So this may not be a more cost effective way if I'm doing a bunch of eight by tens. And then because I'm only doing one or two days at a time, like I can't fill this up with other pictures. So I either need to be pickier about not printing on eight by tens all the time, or I need to be like want more days together. But I really wanted to use a three by eight for this story. I really wanted to use this three wreaths. I just felt like this was perfect for day three. Um, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the picture. Well, truthfully, I wanted to the option to do it in a full um, three by eight length. And so since I was already doing the eight by 10, I figured I would go ahead and throw in these two other options as well. Because the page protector options for the three by eight are either one long one, which would be this picture, two three by fours, which would be this picture, or a little two by three at the top, and then a six by three on the bottom, which would be this size. So I'm still not sure which one I'm gonna pick. The picture turned out way more like pinky yellow than I anticipated. And then this one I might use for day two. So I'm gonna tell the story about the first snow. And so I took this picture from my desk. Like this is my desk window. And then I took this picture over to another window from the office. And then I also got both of these ooh, in the three by four side by side. And then I also took this one today of it like while it's like once it wasn't snowing anymore. So I thought about maybe doing these two side by side since it's like the same angle, although it's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty darn close. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. I'm going to start by cutting up all these pictures and then start playing. All right. It is advent calendar time. Hoping for another caffeinated one. I did not sleep well last night and therefore I snoozed and snoozed and did not get up early um, and do anything. Let's see what we have here. Let it snow spiced eggnog. I don't think it's actually eggnog because this is tea. We had let it snow last year. Yeah, it's just green tea and it's low caffeine. So it has one caffeine. Um, do I want to take this? I don't think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to wait and do this tonight when I get back, when I get home. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it out of the box so that I don't forget, but I'm not gonna take it with me to work. Okay, and now Harry Potter time. Given that the last two days were house related, my assumption is that we are moving on to another house today. All right, it's got a picture of an owl on the little inside flap here, so I actually don't think it's house related today. But once again, I can't get it out, so I can't. I think it's an eraser, maybe? Yeah, I think it's just an eraser and it's got like a a wrapper on it that has, I don't know if it's supposed to be an owl, it doesn't really look like an owl. And then, if, but if I take the wrapper off, it's literally just an eraser. There's nothing on it. I mean, I can always use an eraser. I don't really use them as often. I used to use racer, erasers a lot more when I was doing lettering, when I was practicing my lettering. This is kind of a cop out if you like. I mean, if I guess if I was a younger kid opening this, like when my brother, he'll probably use it a lot more because, you know, he's in school. But I do wish it had something actually on the actual eraser and not just on the wrapper that goes on the eraser. 
All right, it is lunchtime and I'm running a quick errand to UPS. I literally just got a delivery from Rent the Runway last night. I just ordered two work dresses. I returned two things that I had worn and I got two work dresses just to wear to work because I didn't really have any other coming up. And then last night I got an email. There is something really cool that I am going to when I'm in North Carolina that I have not been able to talk about. And it will have already happened by the time this vlog goes up. So if you saw it on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to talk about it here. It's going to be part of the next vlog. So I'm so, so, so excited. But anyways, I got an email last night saying that the attire is cocktail. Okay. So I am headed to UPS to drop back off the two dresses I got last night plus the one I wore on Monday so that I can rent some new stuff so that I can have a cute cocktail dress to wear to this event. So anyways, <laughs> I, uh, I I don't necessarily like doing that, like getting stuff and not even being able to wear it. It kind of feels like I'm wasting my Rent the Runway Unlimited subscription, but that's also the benefit of Unlimited. Like I can turn around and return this. And this UPS store has been great. And if I return it, as long as I return it like at lunchtime, I usually get the notification the next day that it's back at the warehouse. So I should be able to order some stuff tomorrow that will hopefully work. I probably will do what I've done in the past for big events like this where I like take all open spots in my Unlimited to get options and then pick the one that I like the best. There is one dress. They also have a recommended color scheme, which is not required but encouraged. And there's one in particular cocktail dress that I love. I, I wore it to the prom night in Arizona, but right now it's not currently available in my size. So that's probably not an option, but it would be perfect. I have some bad news and then I have some good news. So if you watched last week's plan with me, I sort of talked about the situation with the Rockefeller tree lighting. I've never been, I've never actually been. And so I figured it would be the perfect holiday thing to go and enjoy and include it in Vlogmas and it was gonna be great. So just like anything in life, I started doing some research. I started Googling, where should you stand? What time should you get there? When does it start? Blah, 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 blah. Everything I read, every article from this year and years past said, if you want to get a spot where you can actually see the tree and not just like hear what's going on, you need to get there by 3 p.m. It starts at 8 p.m. And I was like, okay, well, that's crazy. And they say those kinds of things too for like New Year's in Times Square, which I've never done, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which we did do. And we only got there about an hour in advance and we had terrible like spots, but luckily a lot of that was up, so it wasn't so bad. It was also freezing that day, so we weren't gonna get there much earlier. Anyways, there was no way I was obviously gonna get there at three. So then the decision became, do I go right after work at like 5.30 like if I get off at five and go get there by 5.30 and then stand there for two and a half hours. And according to these articles, I still may not even get that great of a spot. So then I was leaning towards, all right, well then I'll just stay at work and do something, edit, whatever, and then go like a half hour before. That way I'm still not gonna get a really good spot, but I didn't waste an extra two hours just like standing around in the cold, especially because Sam couldn't go with me. So I was going by myself and I was like, I don't wanna stand there for two hours by myself. So then this morning I'm like getting dressed and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and come home first. That way I don't have to take my backpack with all my stuff, like my lunchbox and my laptop and all that stuff. And I can change and put on warmer clothes. I can put on leggings and like an extra layer of sweatpants. I can put on like a long sleeve shirt and a sweater instead of wearing like business attire. I was like, that's perfect. I'll come home and I'll change. And then I got stuck at work. I just got home. And it's 7.05. I'm not going to make it to the Rockefeller tree lighting. I literally would have to like just drop everything, change clothes, and turn around and go down there. And truthfully, I just don't want to. I just, I don't care enough. Like, I don't feel like going. And my experience with the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, as like cool and exciting as it is in person, it's just as cool on TV. At least that's my experience at this point. So I feel the same way about the tree lighting. Like, it's cool to watch on TV. I, I don't feel like being there in person is worth it. It wasn't worth it to me, especially getting home this late. So that's the bad news. I'm not gonna go in person to the tree lighting tonight. Here's the good news. You're still gonna get a tree lighting as part of this vlog. I'm gonna go to another tree lighting tomorrow in a different park, way less crowded, not as late at night. 
it's gonna be awesome okay I'll show you I'll, you'll see it tomorrow it'll still be part of this vlog the other thing is I promise to still go visit the Rockefeller tree I will go visit it in person take a video of it take a photo probably take a ring shot I will still go visit it as part of vlogmas now that I'm home and it's warm I'm going to turn on my tree light the candles brew some tea I think I'm gonna brew that tea that I opened up this morning the like eggnog that's what they're calling it I, I'm it's not eggnog it's green tea but I'm gonna brew some tea um, put on some comfy clothes and then I don't have a December daily to work on tonight because oh no I do I came up with something just kidding I was thinking since well, originally I like had jotted in my notebook like the Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting but since I'm not going to that I was like well, what am I gonna do and then I had an idea I was gonna do like an ornament um, feature and so I was like well I have to take the pictures tonight and get them printed tomorrow and I'll do it tomorrow but I think maybe I'm gonna try and do a song list my top 10 like favorite Christmas songs I think I might do for today's story since I've been really enjoying listening to Christmas music this week while I get ready and sometimes at work and etc so I think that's what I'm gonna work on I love when you get time back from canceled plans <laughs> whether it's you that canceled or somebody else that canceled let me know in the comments what do you typically do with canceled plans I am guilty of going straight to the to-do list and seeing what I can like get caught up on or get ahead on I talked in my self-care presentation at plantation that that's when you should tap into your self-care list like have a backup list of things that make you happy like self-care items whatever that is for you is it reading a book is it you know whatever and doing that when you find that when you get those extra pockets of time um and I do want to like you know do what I say not just say it but it's also vlogmas and I have eight million things that I could possibly edit so that's probably what I'll end up doing all right I know I said I was gonna brew tea but I think I'm gonna have a glass of wine instead. Can you even call it a glass of wine though? Cause it's not even a full glass of wine. But the more that I thought about it, I only have 18 days until we leave to go home to Chicago. So, and there's 11 bottles left. Two of those days I'm out of town. So really I'm only like, you know, I yes, there's 11 of these and I guess 15 opportune days, but like, let's let's just keep moving. So today, number two here, that is number two, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have another Taste of France. I don't know if they're all going to be Taste of France. And this one looks like a light red. Like, it, it's red, but it is, it's not a deep, bold red. Truthfully, this is probably my least favorite type of wine. I prefer, like, a bold Cabernet, like a big, bold red, or pretty much any white except for super sweet, like a Riesling. Lighter reds are definitely my least favorite, but I'm going to give it a try. I'm gonna stick it in the freezer again to give it a smidge of a chill. All right. Once again, not a full glass, but I'm excited to try this. It looks a little bit darker now that it's actually in a glass and not in the tube. It's okay. It's much fruitier than I normally would choose for a wine, but it's good. It's wine. All right, so Sam was asleep last night when I finished last night's story, so I didn't get a chance to share those with you, and then I'm also gonna share today's. I'm trying to figure out a balance between showing you actually working on them. Because it's my first year, like, it's taking me a long time. There's a lot of trial and error, and I understand the value in seeing that too, and seeing me try and, and fail, but at the same time, like, these vlogs are already very long, and if I show the, like, the actual work of all of my December daily work, I mean, they're gonna be hours and hours long. So for now, I'm just committing to making sure to show you some of the thoughts that I had while I was working on it and then the final product. And then maybe in the future, I'll show a working one or maybe if there's one I'm really excited about, I'll do like a separate video just working on that one. I don't know yet. Okay, so I started telling you about this last night, like before I started working on it, but this was the first snow. So I have these two different pictures that I took from the office like views from the windows at the office this one is actually like from my desk what I stared at all day and then this is from a different window on my floor and then I picked this card because these kind of just looked like snowflakes I used this big rubber piece here and then I just sort of wrote about the snow and I added this little let it snow sticker all right and then story number three I talked about how I printed the pictures in a couple different sizes I ended up deciding to go with this size because I knew that this story was going to be very short like I knew that I wasn't going to need a lot of space to write about it because it was really just how I spent my lunch editing and I added the business card from the restaurant here and then these little hearts 
And then this was actually a three by four card that I cut in half to be a two by three to fit into this little pocket. And then I was, when I was going through the, this size stuff, the, the three by eight products, I saw this little wreath transparency and I was like, oh, there's three wreaths. It's so perfect for like day three. So I pulled this out and I started with just this number in the middle. I started with just this three. And then I felt like these two looked kind of empty. And so I went and tried to put in like other stickers or other embellishments and it just didn't look right. And so I ended up filling it in with these other number threes. Now here comes to the problem with these plastic threes. And I talked about this during my unboxing video was like, how am I going to get these plastic numbers down without being able to see the, like how you get them down? Like I, I had no idea. I tried like adhesive roller on the back, but you could totally see through that. And then I put a little tiny, tiny piece of red line tape and you could still see it. So that's why I put this little heart there to cover up the red line tape that I put there. And then I was texting with my friend Jen and she was like, I'm actually probably not going to use the plastic numbers, but use the stapler. And obviously you can see the staples, but it adds texture. And you'll see um, on the next page, I end up doing that for another plastic piece. So that's day three. I knew I wanted to do my top 10 Christmas songs and I wanted to use this one through 10. So originally I thought, well, maybe I will just like put it on the outside of the page protector because it obviously fit right here, but not in the pockets. And so I thought about just putting it on the outside, but then trying to find a place to put the four, if I just use this one page as the story for day four, that was a little bit of a struggle. And so then I tried like cutting it and it, that didn't work either. And so then I was like, fine, I'll just do two side by side. I didn't necessarily want to do two three by eights back to back, but this one will just have to be like this and this, I think will all be one story to kind of tie it all back in and pull me back into the six by eight size. And if the story that I think I'm going to do tomorrow pans out, I'll have plenty of pictures for that. But back to this story. So when I decided that this was going to be on its own side, I just kind of stuck these little stickers on there that that were reminded me of song things, Fa La La and Jingle Bells, and then filled this out with my top 10 songs. These are also in no particular order. I actually did a YouTube video as part of Vlogmas last year going through these songs where I like played clips of the song. So if you're interested, go check that video out. So then on this side, I decided to try and find another page that had lines that I could kind of write on. And this piece was actually a, like a full one, and I just cut it to only be this piece of it and then I added this plastic joy because it kind of reminded me of joy to the world which is one of my favorite songs and so this time I did use the staples and you can kind of see them but it you know it adds some texture and then I just wrote a little blip about enjoying music and I tried to do Allie does this a lot where she writes just in the middle in like a column and then up here I struggled for a while so first I tried to use the, the actual top half of this piece and I was trying to put this little like red triangle to pull in some color and I was using this sticker to try and pull that in and at some point I had like a different number four. Oh, at some point no I started I was trying to write out the word four with these because I saw other people do that in the Facebook group and so I was trying to write out the word four but I couldn't get it to fit just right. So then I transitioned to this like rubber piece and I was going to use a different four still on the white one but then it just looked like it looked kind of ridiculous, the white on the white. And so then I went to pull the rubber piece off and I totally ruined the piece of paper. So I switched and found a red piece of paper. This was also a three by four card, you know, like this side that I cut in half and just stuck that in and then ended up putting the four on the snowburst, which you can also see in the same view over here. I kind of like kind of like the consistency and um, and pulled in the red there. So that's it so far. I am so proud of myself that I have done four days thus far. Hello, so my office, I work at New York Life Insurance, is right by Madison Square Park. You've probably seen it before in vlogs. I walk through it a lot. It's in the background. Um, it's, I love it. When the weather is nice um, and I'll go get coffee with a friend, we'll go do a lap around the park, get some fresh air. Not so much a wintertime activity, but they also have a giant Christmas tree. It's not as big as the Rockefeller tree, but there is a tree lighting ceremony, if you can call it that, today. I think they purposely do it the day after the Rockefeller tree lighting. And so there's a bunch of like performances, obviously not huge name artists, but performances, one of which is actually the New York Life Choir. 
you heard me right, we have a choir, and I'm gonna try to capture their actual show next week, but today they are doing a stint at the tree lighting. So I'm headed over there now, it's still light out now, hoping to capture some pictures of the park, maybe a picture of the tree before it's lit, um, and whatnot, and then capture a little bit of their performance, and then they're gonna light the tree. So I am much more of a fan of them doing the tree lighting at 4.45, 5 o'clock, right when it gets dark, than at 10 o'clock, which is the time the Rockefeller one was at yesterday. home I have about 15 minutes before I need to head to get my nails done I talked about this a little bit in my plan with me but I've been splurging recently on gel manicures I really prefer getting a gel manicure when I'm traveling because I am an ex nail biter and so I pick at my nails if regular polish starts to chip and when I'm not traveling if it starts to chip off I will just pick it all off and then repaint them that night or the next morning and it's just not it's not a big deal well, when I'm traveling, I don't like to have to take my nail polish with me and then try and paint them while I'm there. Now, sometimes if I'm going like home, like to my parents, I will do that because I know that I have access to nail polish remover and I probably have downtime of 15 minutes to paint my nails. So like, it's not a big deal. But when I was going to India, obviously being gone for a week and a half, I was like, I need like a gel manicure that's gonna last. So I got gel for that and then I came home and after a couple days they were kind of looking a little ridiculous. My nails grow pretty fast and so I knew I needed to at least take the gel off but I was about to leave for Thanksgiving again. And, and I was going home but it, we were spending most of the time at the beach house and I didn't know if my stepmom had nail polish remover down there so I decided to just go ahead and get gel again for that. And so here we are again. I've been home for, well, I've been home for like five days at this point. Um, but I made the decision actually on Sunday to get my nails done today. Um, so at this point they're pretty bad and they definitely need to be done again. And I'm doing it because I am going out of town again and I'm going to North Carolina for Cultivate Your Year Live. And then at that point I'll probably get it done again before I go to Chicago and China. So I'm just going to keep up with it for now and then once we get back for the new year I'll take it off and be done with gel for a little while, give my nails a break. So the place I go isn't that far from my apartment, So, but I have about 15 minutes. I'm gonna change out of my work clothes. I'm gonna try, do I have time? Yeah, I think I have time. I'm gonna try on my Rent the Runway staff. So like I mentioned, whatever day that was, I think it was yesterday, I got four dresses. I took all my spots and got four dresses, hopefully for the event on Sunday night. So hopefully one of these works. I don't have a full length mirror, so I can't really show you all of them. I mean, I can like go like this, and you can kind of see it. I'll try, I'll see what happens. I, our full length mirror broke and I just haven't replaced it yet. I, mirrors are more expensive than I thought. I went to Amazon thinking I was like, oh, I'm gonna replace it. And it was like way more than I thought it was gonna be. So I did okay. it. Option one is way more low cut than I remember it being. So this one might not be an option. I mean, if, depending on the event I'm going to, I don't necessarily mind having some cleavage, but for this, I, I just, I don't know how appropriate, how appropriate this is. This is the dress though I was talking about in when I was mentioning that if they'd had this in pink, I thought that was gonna be perfect. 
Um, but I went ahead and got the orange one because I knew it would fit and all the other ones here I've never worn before so I wasn't sure like this was sort of my like if The other ones don't fit. I'll just wear this even though orange technically wasn't in the color scheme list of color schemes You guys are gonna laugh when I tell you like the color scheme that they would requested uh, But anyways, I I don't know when I look straight on it's not bad, but if you're taller than me it's pretty bad. All right, the next option is this teal, which is like the perfect color. Um, and it's this lace, although at the top, it kind of feels like it needs to be ironed a little bit. It's a little bit big on me. So it is a plus size dress. And I've, I've found that like, I typically wear a size 14 dress, but a size 14 and plus size always seems to run a little bit big on me. Um, so it, I do, it is a little bit big. So it's probably not my favorite. It's cute and it's flattering and it's, it's comfortable, like, you know, it's not squeezing me super tight. I'm looking at myself. Let me show you what I'm looking at. This is me. I'm looking at me in the mirror over there. So I can see, like, you know, almost all of it, but not quite all of it. Also, we didn't make our bed today. Please don't judge. I, I mean, I like it, but it, it is just a little bit big. I wish it was one size down so it was a little bit a little bit more flattering all right option number three is this yellow one again a little bit low cut not quite as low cut as the orange one but still low cut this one kind of has the opposite problem it's a smidge too tight um i am having trouble getting it zipped i think it will zip if somebody else is doing the zipping but there's like a seam at the waist and so i think trying to get over that seam by myself is proving to be a little bit difficult let me give it one more try all right, so I don't think this one is gonna work, not because I couldn't get it zipped, because I actually did end up getting it zipped, but because it goes down too far in the back, and you can see my bra. I mean, it's black, so you can totally see it, but even if I wore a nude bra, like, it, the back goes way too low. Womp, womp. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I really wish that Rent the Runway, they have filters for, like, everything you could ever want. There needs to be a filter for can wear a regular bra. Okay, so I forgot that the last one that I ordered actually shipped in a different shipment. So it is not here yet. It was just those three in the bag. Um, the last one I have is white, which doesn't really go with the color scheme, but I figured I would pair it with a sweater that goes with the color scheme. Um, so that is my last option. Right now, I don't love any of them. The yellow is definitely a no-go. The teal is a little bit too big and the orange is a little bit low cut. So hopefully the white one works and I'll pair it with either a teal or a pink sweater and it'll be great. So I ended up going with this like super light silvery gold or goldish silver. It's kind of like, you know, an in-between gold and silver color, um, but not, it's not rose gold. There was a, basically a true rose gold, a true gold, a true silver, and this was kind of like, felt like a little bit in-between. I just thought it was a little bit festive um, and fun. I, would, I contemplated doing a red, but I was like, I'm not ready to be that festive yet, but I might get red for Chicago and China but the other thing I like about this is it's sort of a neutral as well and so when my nails grow out you might not be able to tell as much I totally forgot to open my advent calendars this morning and I was like I kind of want to make some tea and I was like well why don't you open it up and see if you want to make yesterday's or if you want to make today's so here we go are you guys sick of the advent calendars yet <laughs> I feel like it's fun to do every day but also probably gets really old really fast I don't know I'm excited about it but I'm the one that gets to like enjoy the tea so all right, here is day five. And it looks like we've got a maple syrup oolong of sweet buttery pancakes. Oh, that sounds delicious. So it's oolong, so it's a low caffeine, but it sounds like it's gonna be pretty sweet. So I think I am, I think I'm gonna brew this one tonight and enjoy something sweet. I might wait, to, well, I really want tea now, but I also feel like I should wait till after I cook and eat dinner to do something sweet, I don't know. And then let's pull day five from the Hogwarts calendar. It's this like really long and skinny one in the middle here. Okay, I finally got it out. It is a pencil, so it's already sharpened. It looks like it's just a normal pencil, which I don't really use pencils, but I do think, kind of like the eraser yesterday, I do think that this box may be a little bit geared, more geared towards children, excuse me. This is not your box. And then it says Lumos down on the other end. And then it's just kind of a raw end. It doesn't have an eraser or anything. Um, so you could sharpen it at the other end as well. Now I need to cook dinner. So the other day I picked because it was a Home Chef Express. So it was quicker and it was already so late that I was starting to cook. It, I mean, it's kind of late now. It's, I mean, 30 to, so 30 to 45 minutes or 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, we're definitely gonna do the 30 to 45. Although I guess 
30 to 45, 45 to 40 to 50. It's kind of, it's only like five minutes apart, like it, but that's okay. That's what we're gonna do. Wait, let's see, this one says intermediate. What does this one say? Uh, also intermediate, so we're just, we'll do the one that's slightly shorter. So it is broccoli cheddar crusted chicken with Parmesan roasted potatoes. That sounds amazing. Let's get the bag out of the fridge. So like I said um, the other day, I appreciated that the vegetables were all already chopped. And it looks like this is about half and half. So the broccoli is all cut up, but the there's garlic right there and the potatoes are not cut. So I think that might have been because it was an express meal. I don't think normally Home Chef comes with your vegetables already cut. I did just notice on here that it says a cook within time. I wonder what the other ones were. I kind of appreciate that because I feel like some weeks like I'm down to cook them all right away and then some weeks I'm not. So like, yeah, so the one I'm saving for Saturday says cook within six days. So that was the furthest one. So even if I was not picking based on time tonight, I probably would have done the same one just because of that. So I think that that's really helpful home chef I don't know there's definitely things that I like about both of them separately by the way I have purchased all of these boxes myself I did use my mom's discount code for both of them but like I bought them uh, not sponsored not gifted any of those things um, I will link both of my discount codes in the description box if you're interested in trying them out um, I think the referral codes you get credit I get credit but no pressure whatsoever. Um, I'm just sharing because I do think that they're not inexpensive. Um, like the per serving cost, if you go shop at a grocery store, especially one like Aldi or Trader Joe's, like you can pay way less for a serving. But for somebody who doesn't like meal planning and doesn't like cooking, I think it takes a lot of the work that I don't like out of the equation and it makes me way more likely to cook food. So um, for the time being, I'm gonna keep up with it. All right, my other run the runway thing got delivered while I was cooking dinner. Dinner was awesome, it's delicious. I actually sort of feel like I'm leaning home chef, but I can't handle the stress of not knowing if my box is gonna be there. So anyways, uh, Sam is still not home. I have tea brewing and I have about five minutes before the Cowboys game starts. Actually, let's be honest, sports fans, I have five minutes until it's supposed to start. It's not gonna start for probably 10 minutes. Let me open up this dress and try it on. I actually remembered I have worn this dress before. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit and it's gonna be cute. The problem is I don't know if it's dressy enough. Like I don't know if it really qualifies as cocktail because I think it's kind of cottony. This one's also a little bit low cut. I don't know what is me with picking all these like super kind of low cut dresses, but I think that this is gonna be the winner because I think that this one I feel the most comfortable in like size wise and even though it is a little bit low cut it's not the worst one the worst one is definitely the orange one and then i mean the yellow one doesn't matter because i couldn't wear a bra so at this point we're either at the teal high neck with probably a white sweater a little bit too loose or we have this white one that is it's it i don't know if it's cotton but it's got like a ribbing to it so it it adds a little bit more to it and i think with heels and like a cute necklace i think it could be fine i would probably wear this with a teal sweater. So no matter what I'm pulling in the teal, it's whether I'm comfortable enough with the, the neckline to have something that fits a little bit better, or if I'd rather have the high neck teal one, but it's a little bit loose in the center. I think what I'm gonna do is take like pictures of both dresses, not on because 
Well, maybe I'll just take it from the top up in front of the mirror and send it to a couple friends and ask their opinions. Do you guys ever do that where you want your friend's opinion on an outfit? Um, I have like a group chat of friends, girlfriends that I like immediately, I'm like, I'm gonna ask them what they think I should wear and I completely trust their opinions. All right, just kidding. I put the white one on, I put the teal sweater on with the white one, and I came over here close up to the mirror to like get a picture from my like, basically my hips up, and I noticed like how low cut it was, and I was like, oh, it looks very low cut. And I also felt like once I put the sweater on with it to pull in the teal, it felt really ca much more casual then. And then I put the teal one on to take a picture of it, and it is still loose, but I am much more comfortable in this. It is much more high neck. It's a little bit longer. I think it looks a little bit fancier with the lace. I think it's really a little bit more cocktail. So I think I'm going to pair this with like my statement, either my silver one or my like pearls, the statement pearls. Like it's like three or four strands of pearls. I'll probably still take a white sweater uh, in case it's chilly, but I think I'm just going to go with the teal. I like the color. I feel much, much more comfortable, even though it's a little bit loose in the waist. All right, it is advent calendar time. I apologize for the dishwasher in the background. Sam went ahead and started the dishwasher this morning, so that's just what's happening. All right, we are on day six, right? I also need to flip my calendar. I love this little calendar that I have on my counter. It is from Fitbook. It also makes a really great gift. I got this last year for my stepmom and she says she loves it too. So it usually has like a quote or a recipe or something here and then it's got a little tip down at the bottom. Okay, back to the tea. By the way, last night's tea was amazing. It was so delicious. All right, today we have Silk Dragon Jasmine, delicate, smooth, and floral. This is another green tea, medium caffeine. So I do think it's color coded. So I'm pretty sure that the yellow are the fruit infusions. The, um, these are the black tea, the dark blue. This is green tea and then the yellow is oolong. So far, that's what we've had. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one with me to work and brew it at work. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my teamy cup. This is my favorite, favorite cup to brew tea on the go. Oh, where's the little inside guy? Did he end up in a drawer somewhere? Right row. Did he end up in a cabinet? The good news is, I have a backup. So we will use the red one today. Although the inside I don't think has, has a color on it, so I think I could use either one. Lies, the inside does have a color on it too. So this is the red one. So I'm just gonna take this with me. Sometimes I will brew it at home and then take it full um, to the office, but I'm gonna just take both of these things with me to the office and brew it when I get there. We have a water um, cooler, but that also does hot water, which is really awesome. Another day, another ripped door. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not what goes there because it's a picture of the Deathly Hollows, but it's, a sorting hat bookmark and we've seen this before because it's floated around on other days so this may or may not be day six we may be very off and I don't know if there's any way for me to check really um, but I do like this this is something I actually will use this little sorting hat bookmark he's so cute all right I am off to work I feel like I mentioned this before but I just wanted to share again I typically carry a backpack to work um, I think I talked about this when I reviewed the Erin Condren tote it's just I do a lot of walking and commuting to get to and from work and using a tote bag like I keep a lot of stuff in there and it just gets really heavy on my shoulder so I typically will carry a backpack this is a North Face one that I've had for years literal years um, it's probably time for a new backpack soon and then sometimes if I have something that doesn't fit in my backpack I will take one of the Erin Condren tote bags so this has my rent the runway dresses that I'm returning from the try on last night as well as my lunch is in that bag as well. I usually carry my lunch outside of my backpack because I don't want to risk like it leaking or whatever, you don't know. So I am off to work and I'm gonna close out this weekly vlog. Uh, I don't anticipate anything crazy happening at work or during lunch, I'm just planning to edit and then I will kick the new vlog off after work this evening as part of the weekend vlog. So that is gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every day here during Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. But it comes when, uh, meh, 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 meh. maybe I need to take the paper out first.
It doesn't have to be with a significant, a significant. Which ones are new, new? Oh my God. Of course, I'm holding it upside down. We have our, 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 our. On the, in, on the class. One, they gave the, uh, no. We're in making a quick Next week during the office, during the office, 